China still has their uh, invasion by Jurchens going on. Uh, luckily, Tibet has yet to renew their peace deal. And I'm hoping that they will continue to not do that. On the subject of Tibet, um, I do think I can declare a holy war against them. What's the 6.5? Ooh. 5.5 there. 5.5. 5.5. Alright. So, uh. I'm going to declare a holy war on Tibet. For. Kumul. Yes, China's going to be at war with us. Which is fine. I'm going to bring in some of our larger armies. Wait, who's this? Who controls this? Corsica Sardinia. And he is actually Polish. Okay. Let's bring these guys through. Wait a minute, I should make sure that my retinues aren't, like, in the way of... Oh, there's Tibet. Oh, there's the Tibetan army. Alright. So, 22 days till we can assault there. These guys are suffering quite a bit of attrition here. Siege, okay. Um, let's take half of these guys down this way and half the other way. Twenty-seven percent. I want this war to go fast because I don't want to lose out on too much grace. Okay, they all, uh, they also have a peasant revolt going on. Okay. Um, let's go to uni next. Unless they want out right now. No, didn't think so, but uh, I had to try. One day until we can assault. So we, this should only be another one day. Pollution of heresy. Split these guys in half. Half go there and half go here now. These guys should be able to assault once they get there because they will have a significant number. Okay. And just a city. Granddaughter needs an education. We'll go with Faith, I guess. Now we'll have these guys go up to Lulan. Another peasant revolt in Tibet. He surrenders. We'll take that surrender. What is our grace at? 55 34. So when we die, we can declare a new war on them. Or if they die before us, we can declare a war on them. Or I could just declare another war right now. We'd lose half of our, about half of our prestige, and all the eastern rulers would hate us quite a bit. And we can create.
create the duchy as well. Um, 44 is a little old. 38 isn't bad. Give him that county. He will ultimately be the duke as well. Um, who is our next strongest lord? Uh, Bulgaria. I don't think they have land over here. Transfer... That guy. And I just saw something that pissed, starting to piss me off. So, um, I don't know how vassals keep getting free from their lieges. He is currently rebelling, so that's acceptable, I guess. But this guy isn't. So he needs to go back to who he's supposed to be under. Um, Al Aqaba Tel Bashir should be under Syria, right? No, Armenia. Did disband the armies, yes, okay. Akaba, Ashley. Um, I think I tried to keep these guys separated, didn't I? So that none of them could create the Kingdom of Volga Bulgaria. That's fine. Um, sure, give it to Lithuania. No, no, I, not a good idea. Um, Transoxiana instead. Then it's this guy, who is not in a duchy yet. Same with this guy. Count of Kamaru, okay, uh, Karluk. She's, I only have one county that is in that duchy. Karak. Should be part of Jerusalem, I believe. Uh, what duchy? Ultra Jordan? Oh, never mind. We'll give it to this guy. Um, Alishi. How do these people all become independent from their lords? Like, I don't understand that. They shouldn't be able to lead independence factions, right? Who owns, who owns the Duchy of Crimea? This guy. Right, um...
And why is this guy my direct? Why was that guy my direct vassal? Um, Scardu is not one. Okay. Um, and then the Duke's Bakar. He's actually defending against a, re a revocation. So he's not actually independent. But, uh. Roselle, Lobatello, Grissetto, Amelia. Rome, Viterbo, Narni, Amelia, Vitello, Grissetto, Roselle. Okay. Anything that's not one of those shouldn't be mine. Adesu, for example. Uh, Coney. Right, I also have vassals who are Uh, not the proper religion. So I'll transfer him to that guy. And what does Venice's uh, trade empire look like right now? It's fairly sizable. Um... Now I want to see Search Realm for rulers who are not my religion. Queen of Georgia. The Arissa Revolt is Jewish, somehow. She's a true believer. I could send him a large sum of money, and I still don't know if I'd be able to convert him. He would. He would convert. Despot of Navarra. He's... He's a true believer, but he's in prison. Despot of, Despot of Sardinian Corsica. Okay. They like me enough, but uh, it just sucks. I hate that modifier. I have hated it ever since they introduced it back with... Uh, Monks and Mystics. It's just... It's, it's a stupid modifier. So, that's just my opinion. I understand wanting to make the game more challenging, but... I mean, honestly... I don't know, it just seems like an inconvenience more than anything. Good news, my lord, we've received credible reports of the white stag. We've bisected Tibet, well... We've done that a couple times, but um, we've done that to the major part of it. We've cut off... Uh, what mountains are these? I don't even know. Are they part of the Himalayas? I don't think so. Because the Himalayas are down here. What would... I, I actually have to look into what mountains these would be. You spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but to no avail. You find plenty of bugs, snakes, and riding sores, however. I didn't gain either stress or wrath, which I will gladly accept. We have received news that Senpo Lichavi Tridu, uh, the second of Tibet, has chosen to go into hiding in order to try to foil a plot against his life. It won't save him. Well, maybe now that will cause somebody to press a... Okay, he's now dealing with 
a couple of Holy Wars. The Trebizondi and Glistian Holy Wars for Kiva. Wait a minute, was that? Was, one of the, was that my son's kid? No. My zeal and religious beliefs have be led me to be more, become more respected and more, give, be given more prestige. Who is Greece? Okay, Greece has Egypt on his side too. My granddaughter, she must learn on her own. Um. I'm not sure how many horses I have still. Um, search realm for not my culture. That says Norse, not horse. Search my court for... Okay, there's the horse. I saw a couple. There they are. There's three of them. I thought that I only had two being horses. Unless... Oh, right. One of them was married. Or a couple of them were married. <laughs> So uh, they were horses. They were born horses. And uh, her name is Glitterhoof. And uh, his name is Chitak. <sighs> He's a quick horse. <laughs> uh, it's, it's so stupid. <laughs> um, I need to land some of these kids. <laughs> because then their court gets populated by actual horses, I think. Um, are either, actually, hold on, good idea, maybe, uh, give me a claim on this, I want the Pope to give me a claim on this. Claim has been granted, and thus I can revoke it, and my vassals will not exist, um, not object. Yes, I know it's doesn't really have any effect on anything, but uh, okay. So I want him to have that county. Hey, there's a horse, a new horse. And uh, this is scary. This is really, this is gross and scary. But uh, bastard granddaughter? No? Okay. Is there a sack of arrows? Uh, there we go. And there you have it. Nothing wrong with that one. At all. I'm not gonna say it, but my god. What have I done? Uh, throw the apostate in the dungeons. I don't think I can actually get uh, my horse married off to anybody. I 
Actually, I might be able to. No. Alright, come on. I want the Jurchen's... the Jurchen invasion to end. This kid, this is my grandson. I'm going to go with Thrift. He's pretty much the second in line to become the heir after uh, my first, my strong grandson. Speaking of which, he became indolent. There's a new great doge of or a new uh, doge of Venice. He's Catholic. Good. Greece is somehow not losing. Like they haven't lost all of their troops yet. In fact, they just took a top holding there. Polish Uprising in Orania. Um, we'll have... Is that... Greeks ar Greece's army? It should be. With that many troops? It is. Okay. Uh, Tibet is now dealing with three holy wars against them. My wife is pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Alright, so we'll get the, uh, hire someone to find out, and then we will, uh, if we need to, we'll hire a second person. News from China. After years of constant warfare and battles involving hundreds of thousands of soldiers, the German Jurchens finally stand triumphant. A decisive battle was fought near Nanjing. The Jurchen Kagan now sits upon the dragon throne as Emperor Beilu Changzu, founder of a new dynasty. However, China is likely to suffer unrest for many years to come. The Jurchens sound dangerous. So they're in unrest. And I have zero grace. Send a eunuch. So that yeah, they have unrest. That sucks. We'll send a eunuch. He likes Arabic cultures and dislikes Balto Slav cultures. We'll send a concubine as well. Even though it says we sent one recently already. Send our granddaughter. can't kowtow because I've already kowtowed before. The maid I hired to gain my wife Talviki's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. Uh, hire more spies. My granddaughter will be missed. I am to please. Polish uprising in Orania again. All right. I'll stop them. And it looks like they failed to discover anything.
So uh, what's Greece got as far as war score? Thirteen percent. I know that I saw them beat them, uh, one of the Chinese armies. Let's try to make her just, I guess. Nope, she became temperate. The Xia Empire is what it is now. Um, and the dynasty is Beilu. Your vassal, Serene Doge, consists, uh, yeah, consists of Venice, is concerned about his non inheriting sons. Nope. Uh, a daughter named Pavlina. Um. We already named one, yeah, we'll name her, uh, one of his daughters, Eugenia, after his, after his wife. I have a daughter. Name her Sophia. I don't think we've had a Sophia yet. I might be wrong. Maria Zoe. Okay. Uh, so Greece is probably going to lose this battle to this army right here. Good news, my lord. We have received credible reports of a recent exciting Great White Stag near Trent. How Greece is managing this, but uh, again, that army is going to probably destroy them. This time it will not escape me. They're not going to Dunhuang? I guess they are. get someone else at our court, I guess. Throw the apostate in the dungeon. You know, when I had uh, zero grace, I should have declared a war on the Western Protectorate. Uh, my granddaughter with faith, I guess. How old am I? 70? Alright. I mean, I do have a lot of health. Thanks to hunting focus and uh, the hunting dog and uh, the event from training my own hunting dog. Six thousand gold. Tempted to raise more retinue, which will get me up to I think that'll be six total armies of retinue. Six thousand each, all cataphracts. There's three right there. There's two. Why not? Um. And so it's twenty-four that I need. Okay, that was only 21. There we go. Bring them over to Kuma. I'll impress this guy with vague promises. 
Is that vassal still my heir or my uh, dynasty or kinsman? He's not. All right. But one of my kinsmen should be in his land, right? He's not Greek either, but a lot of his kids are. He's 10. Or, I mean, a lot of his uh, vassals are. Looks like it, anyway. So, uh, this duchy is free from this guy. I should move it under someone else. Oh no, I don't think I can, can I? Nope. King of Pomerini does not exist. But he's the Duke of Greater Poland, so yeah, he's the... That's his de jour liege. Don't think I'd be able to put him under anyone else. We're still making quite a bit of money. Well, not quite a bit of money. Uh, we're still making money despite reinforcing that new set of retinue. Could have spent that money on a gift to China. But, uh... We'll make it back eventually. Again, there's always the Iron Crown of Lombardy option. But I'm not going to do that until they're out of the un of the period of unrest, and also don't have a peace deal with Tibet. Um. Oh no, they're in unrest. I can't actually check to see even see if I can declare an invasion on them with uh, my current dynasty members. Yeah, Greece is gonna lose. Imbecile nephew. Faith. Need a new marshal. The despot of Galicia. Sure, why not? Um... I didn't even realize I was in a peasant revolt. Goes to show how much I am paying attention right now to anything but China and my vassals fighting China. There's a 100% war score. I just hope that this uh, period of unrest goes quickly and Tibet can't form a peace deal with China. Um, he's older than 50 and they're at war with Bulgaria now too. Eleven eighty four is when I can declare another war against Tibet. And uh, Greece is at negative 91% war score with China, with the Western Protectorate. Usurp the Duchy of Col What? Again, why? Why does that happen? Screw it. He's Greek. We offer vassalization. He says yes. Maybe he can... Okay. So this that guy goes to Germany. That's so stupid. I don't 
there's no reason for it to do that, right? Any other vassals that I'm not aware of? Count of the Nava. Alright, let's do a vassal check again. I don't understand, again, two things. How that can happen. How they can become completely independent of me. Um, and then, also, how this kid got free from his uh, overlord, despot of Georgia. Um, and Naba was the other one. Duchy of Kabilia, transfer Naba. Okay. What's the horse court looking like right now? She's pregnant. Uh, I kind of want to see what happens. Will it be a small horse? I want to see what the picture looks like. Will it be a centaur, maybe? <laughs> he just, he's just a horse. It doesn't really show... Oh, okay, I guess he inherited his mother's looks. Alright, um... It'll be interesting to see if they have any other kids. But, uh... My god. Um... I need China to be come out of unrest. And also Tibet to not make a peace deal with them. Because that's going to be so much more time wasted. And, uh... The, uh... Between that and the horse thing that is going on right now. I've never actually done this in a game. Which, uh, I'm glad I am. Not really. I don't know. Just, it's a weird, weird feature, right? Uh, anyway, I'm going to end this episode.